Well, I want to thank the good people at Dastor who reached out to me and asked if they could send me these lights in exchange for a demonstration on exactly what you're getting. So thank you people at Dastor and let's jump right in here and take a look at these lights. So we're going for some outdoor post light. But first, I want to show you what you're going to get. So many times when people describe the products, just say, hey, look, here it's outside. It goes on, it goes off. I want to show you exactly what you're getting after you place the orders. For one thing, everything is packaged in dense foam in this entire box. So let's break down here real quickly. Instructions, you really don't need them. They're self-explanatory. All the hardware you need, they even include a screwdriver. And all the small screws, the wiring nuts, and the mounting screws if you need them. The light comes packaged in this soft, dense foam. Like I said, I'm gonna show you just what you get so you know what to expect. Everything is wrapped in its own plastic wrapper. This was, I already took it out, because it was like this. And this is the first time that I actually took this one out of the, the plastic. So this light here, it measures, I wanna get this right. So with the base on it and the top, it measures about 16 inches. The base itself is 5.7 inches. So if you've got a spot that you wanna just mount with the base, 5.7 inches. You can also mount this on a three inch diameter light post. This is hardwired. You can see the wires in the bottom and it does have a dusk to dawn, a photo eye on it. It's meaning when it gets dark, this light's gonna come on automatically. When it gets light in the morning, it's gonna go off. Now, if you don't have a three inch post and you just wanna mount it, there you go. Tighten down the screws with either your own screwdriver or the enclosed screwdriver and you're set to go. Put your bulb in it, 40 watt max bulb in it. You can even use LED. Now the one that I'm going to show you outside, I just have an incandescent light in it. And there are screw holes in the bottom. Line them up and use the attached screws. And now great. Try to put this together before you take it outside because I, I found that it's easiest to turn it upside down and put the screws in it and then take it outside and mount everything up. So this has a feel of, of glass to it. it. I don't know if you can see it, but it has that really nice rippled look to it. So when this is all put together, either like this on a post lamp or like this mounted, and this is the way I have it outside. So waterproof, snow proof, year round use, hardwired in, dust to dawn photo eye on it. Um, this is all metal. It has a feel of almost like an aluminum, uh, but it, it is metal. This is not a plastic. And they even used a silicone, black silicone, and they've sealed all the way around the, the top. It feels like there might be some on the bottom, but I'm not going to swear to it, but I can see there's silicone all the way around the top is sealing this off very nicely. I'm impressed with the quality, but let's take a look at what it looks like outside now. So here is my light outside, and I wanted this kind of by my front entrance door here. You can see with it all assembled, it's not going anywhere, even with two screws in there. I've got to put the others. I just want to do some adjusting um, before I make it really permanent. You can see around the side here, but there, there it is down there. There is going to be the photo eye. And I imagine if I cover that, that's going to come on. But let's come back in a minute here. And let's see what this looks like when it gets dark. So here it's getting dusk. It is not completely dark. You can see the skyline and my lights on already. Let's walk up a little bit closer and, and it illuminates really nice in this cove here. Step back a little bit. And you can see how it just illuminates very nicely. Now let's take a look at how I got a flashlight here. So I shine the flashlight on the photo eye and it goes off. So in the end, fabulous light. I got the two pack here. So take a look at the description, take a look at all the details. And like I said, you can either mount as I did right here with the included base, or you can get an inexpensive three inch lamp post and put that in the ground and solidify it in the ground and mount it on top of that. So enjoy your light when you get it.